According to a Drudge Report exclusive, Michael Bloomberg considers Hillary running mate. Sources close to Bloomberg campaign tell Drudge Report that candidate is considering Hillary Clinton as running mate after their polling found the Bloomberg-Clinton combination would be a formidable force. Drudge has also learned that Bloomberg himself would go as far to change his official residence from New York to homes he owns in Colorado or Florida, since the Electoral College makes it hard for a POTUS and V POTUS from the same state. Now, as even as recently as last week, Hillary Clinton, as a guest on the Ellen DeGeneres uh, show, said that she would probably not accept an offer to run as a uh, vice president. Quote, I never say never because I believe in serving my country, she said, but it's never going to happen. Now, keep in mind that uh, both uh, Bloomberg and Clinton were spotted together in December at a dinner with daughter Chelsea, page six reported, supposedly to celebrate the birthday of socialite Annette De La Renta. And they were also spotted together uh, participating in a New York City Pride Parade. Now, personally speaking, I think uh, if this were to happen as far as uh, Hillary running on the same, on the Bloomberg ticket, this could potentially be something that pushes Bloomberg over the top. Uh, and as far as winning the White House is concerned, I know there's the, the liberal base is they seem to be rather riled up against uh, Trump right now, obviously, with the uh, impeachment effort, of course. They've been trying to impeach him ever since he won the White House. Uh, through They tried, to obviously, using the Russia Gate hoax there for a while. Then that kind of, they started until they realized that they were beating a dead horse to death with that one. And then, of course, the, over the, uh, the Ukraine thing with the uh, impeachment in the House of Representatives. But uh, at any rate... This here is something we could have a uh, round two of uh, Trump versus uh, Hillary, so to speak. I mean, I think it, back in 2016, I think it was in large part due to fear and paranoia of uh, a possible Clinton White House that drove uh, the Trumpsters to the uh, voting booths. If anything else, they didn't want to see, you know, uh, World War Three breaking out or, you know, everybody knows about her, you know, uh, she's a... Definitely uh, pro-choice as far as that goes. So I think that if, like I said, this were to happen with a Bloomberg-Hillary uh, ticket, I think you're going to have uh, folks on the on the Trump side being sort of riled, still having a renewed paranoia. They're going to be riled up and driving driven to the voting booths uh, out of fear for Hillary. And on the other side, on the uh, potentially, of course, on the Bloomberg side. I think you're going to have a lot of uh, liberals uh, dry, being driven to the voting booths out of fear of another Trump um, for another four more years, of course. Like I said, you know, with their impeachment efforts, so on and so forth. But on the other hand, of course, I think uh, I think folks are are kind of sick and tired of Hillary. I don't think that's just simply on the Republican side. I think there's a uh, a contingent a contingency on the on the left that are also tired of uh, Hillary. I think they kind of see her as a, basically as a, as a dinosaur at this point. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens, how things play out.